Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can factor some polynomials that are in quadratic form. And we're just going to jump right into with two examples in this video. So for example number one, we have 625x to the 8th minus 256. So the first thing I notice about this one is it is subtraction. So we could think about the difference of two squares. And while obviously both of these terms are not being squared, let's think about could we rewrite them as a term squared. So if we think about 625 and 256, and let's think about taking the square root of them, right? So 625, that would be 25 squared. And then also 256, that would be 16 squared. So we could rewrite this as 25x, and let's think about squared. We'll think about the exponent on x in just a second, and then minus 16 squared. So now, four exponents, right? If I'm going to take an exponent and I have an exponent on the outside of parentheses and an exponent on the inside, then I call that PPP, power, power, product. So now I need to say, okay, what should I multiply two by to get eight? And that is four. So that gives us a 25X to the fourth in the parentheses there. So now we haven't changed anything. It's still the same um, expression, right? But now we have the difference of two squares. And now this will factor as the sum and difference pattern. So now we can write this as 25X to the fourth plus 16 times 25X to the fourth minus 16. So now 25x to the fourth plus 16, that is factored completely. But if we think about 25x to the fourth and 16, it's not a difference of two squares, but we could once again rewrite that as a term squared. So we could write this now, we still have 25x to the fourth plus 16. But now 25, the square root of that would be five. So we could write this as 5x squared squared minus, and this would be four squared. Right, so we, we've like essentially rewritten that as the difference of two squares. So now once again, we can factor that as the sum and difference pattern. So 25x to the fourth plus 16 times 5x squared minus four times 5x squared plus four. And that would be our final factorization for number one, and it would be factored completely. All right, number two, we have 2x to the 13th power plus 10x to the ninth plus 8x to the fifth. So look at our coefficients, we have a two, a 10, and an eight. So we can factor out a two. And let's also factor out an x to the fifth because that is the, high, the lowest degree of our three terms. So that's the most number of x's that we could factor out. So now let's fill in with kind of what we left behind. So two x to the fifth times x to the eighth is gonna give us x to the, two x to the 13th. Two times five would be 10, and this is gonna be x to the fourth, and then plus, 2x to the fifth times four would give us 8x to the fifth. All right, so now if we think about this, um, what we've seen in algebra one is like when this would be x squared, so if it looked like this, x squared plus five x plus four. And that we'd say, okay, well, we just need to find two numbers that add to five and multiply to four. So we still have our two x to the fifth here, and that would be x plus one times x plus four. Right, because one and four add to five, and one times four gives us four. But we have x to the eighth and five x to the fourth. So we need to have an exponent on our two x's that are with x plus one and x plus four. And so if we think about, okay, well, we're going to, if we were to FOIL x plus one and x plus four, we want it to get back to this trinomial that we had up here, right? So we would do like x times x. Right, and that'd be x squared. Well, we want that to be x to the eighth. Okay, so we could say, okay, well, what about x to the fourth times x to the fourth? Well, that would be x to the eighth, right? And so then we would have x to the fourth times four, so four x to the fourth, one times x to the fourth, one x to the fourth, so four x to the fourth plus one x to the fourth gives us our middle term, five x to the fourth, and then one times four would give us a one, okay? And so this is now factored completely. So we would factor it as two x to the fifth times x to the fourth plus one times x to the fourth plus four. And that is how you can factor some polynomials that are in quadratic form.